Hey there gamers. I've had a uh, Steam Deck OLED for roughly a week now and loving it and I've been testing out various things. One of which was running games off of an external SSD and it worked perfectly. As a side note, I did have to go into the BIOS and change one setting so that the disk was recognized automatically when you plug it and unplug it. And it, you know, it functions brilliantly. However, the one downside was that while I was running games off of the SSD, I couldn't provide power to the unit. So the SSD took a little extra power, the battery life was going down uh, a bit quicker than usual. And I wanted a solution where I could power the Steam Deck and still have the S external SSD. And I've come up with a solution for that. It was it was kind of by accident. I did a video on uh, fixing a problem in an ROG Ally and realized that the solution I had for that could be repurposed. So what do you need for this? The first thing is I've got this USB splitter. Um, looking at the description, it's a USB-C to USB-C female adapter Y splitter cable. And so if you can see that here, um, this bit would plug into the Steam Deck. This one is expecting your power supply, and this is rated for 100 watts, which is more than enough for the Steam Deck. And then you would plug in any USB-C device into this one. So uh, just taking this power adapter out and then plugging it into here. And then just plugging this in. Um, you'll see that it will, the light's gone on and it's uh, just charging up the Steam Deck now. Um, however, it's, it's sort of like it stands proud of the device and doesn't look that great. So the second part is um, this 180 degrees USB-C adapter. Um, you get this in, I got this in a two pack, which is kind of handy because one's being used on the ROG Ally right now. And so what you would do is take this back out and plug this in here and then fit this into the slot on the top. And um, you'll see that that will still provide power. Okay, so the next stage is you'll need an external SSD drive. So I have this one that is just like a, a U-Green um, case and it's just got a standard 2280 in there. It's got a two terabyte one. But you can get things like a, an ex, you know, Samsung T7s and, and various external SSD ca uh, cards. So um, just if you have one handy, that's great. If not, you can pick one up um, reasonably cheaply. And so now, um, first thing I'll do is show you that Red Dead Redemption, I don't have it on this device. And so if I'll step back out from that, and if I take the cable for this, find the Y cable. In fact, let me turn it around. So here's the Y cable. Plug it into there. Weirdly, there's no audible sound to say that it's just just been uh, had a drive added. Um, but if I now click on Red Dead Redemption, you'll see that it's now playable. So I'll just load that up just to let you see that it works perfectly. So, I mean, this is quite a good solution anyway, because um, say you have a docking station, like I have a Steam Deck dock, and that provides a load of, of um, ports, etc. And it has a USB pass-through for the power, but this is just um, using this Y splitter cable, you could now have an external SSD, um, rather than having to buy one of these docks with an SSD in there. And it's just a, a lot more portable.
happening, so you can see it's loading up as normal. I should really have chose a game that doesn't take as long to load. I do apologise. Now I know this isn't really earth-shattering information, but um, for some people this might be preferable than to try and open up their Steam Deck and replace the SSD card within there and risk bricking the device. So I won't run around too too much, it's just um, you can see that the game is running perfectly well off of this external SSD. And we it is showing that we're we're on power there. So please let me know in the comments down below if you find this information useful. Um, and I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks for watching.